and welcome back to all over the map thanks for tuning in we've got a new series for you here and it's the discovering countries series uh the quickest way to learn about a country after playing geoguessr i've learned uh, a lot of things about uh, different countries in particular finland uh, because I've played a lot of games through the GeoGuessr game and uh, other sources and want to bring to you the quickest way to learn about a country. In this episode, we're going to learn about Czechia or the Czech Republic, uh, the landlocked country in Central Europe, historically known as Bohemia. It is bordered by Austria to the south, Germany to the west, Poland to the northeast, and Slovakia to the southeast. So we're going to go through about five different um, places that you can learn about Czechia um, in the quickest way. And the first is obviously Wikipedia. I think most of you probably go to Wikipedia to find out. Great resource, a lot of information talking about the, the you know, like the, the capital city, large city. The, here's the flag of the Czech Republic, the coat of arms. You can even play the national anthem. Here it is on the map. Discover that. Um, the ethnic groups, religion, government, what type of government, all a lot of great stuff that you can find about uh, Czechia, Czechia or the Czech Republic, um, the calling code, driving sign, all that stuff. This is a great resource. When I do this video, all of the links to each one of these different places you can learn about the country will be in the description below, so check them out. would love uh, for you to just explore this and explore the history um, all the way down to the geography, the climate, the different climate types, government uh, of and current government of uh, Czechia here, um, down to military, sport, and so on and so forth. You can even click and go down the rabbit hole of the economy uh, of the Czech Republic and a lot of great information on Wikipedia. One of the other things that I think is very important to when do, learning about a country or discovering it in a quick or rather fast fashion would to be learning about the actual television or watching television, right? So how can you watch television of a country? Well, you can't, if you can't be there, like I'm in the United States and I want to learn about Czechia, I've never been there, want to learn about it. Another way is through Czechoslovak television. So you just look it up. Usually it's found here in Wikipedia and you can come down to the bottom. You Again, type different types of programming, CT24 here. And one of the things I often like to do to learn about a country is to actually watch selected Czech television programs and streaming video. Certain places will block that. Certain countries will be blocked. So if you're watching, you can't do it. Oftentimes, the news channel uh, will will you'll be able to watch it. So, for instance, this C24 brings you to the website of, I guess, a 24-hour news channel. It's always what I would uh, do if. You come in the United States or looking at the United States, maybe you go to CNN, etc. But when you come to this, um, Google will then ask you, I guess, in your native language, if you want to translate. Yes, we always want to translate this. Uh, let's get rid of that there. And then you come to the live. Usually there's a live button here. And this uh, it's Studio CT24. The, the only caveat to this is learning the language. Uh, the language, you'll have to figure out what the language is. Um, unfortunately, listen... There's a way that you can do that, a quick way, a fast way. There's also really just listening to it. You know. So as you see here, there's a live... So you're watching the live news from Czechia. I guarantee you watching this a lot will help you. So there we are. That's learning about the... Um, the TV, learning it through TV, learning through the national TV channel. Um... And I said about learning a language. Well, the next thing on discovering Czechia and learning about it is free, fun, effective way to learn a language is Duolingo. I have this. I have this for my kids. As you see here, you can learn about Czech. Um, learn Czech in just five minutes a day for free. Right? So you can start learning, learning basic Czech. It's a great way to learn some of the basics about the language of a country. So then when you come back to CT. 24 you can you can learn about it right you can learn about and listen maybe oh i heard that word it's another great way to immerse yourself into discovering the country uh dewey lingo is i would again highly recommend this you can have this on your laptop your pc whatever your phone your android your apple phone uh dewey lingo the next thing i like to do that uh, you can learn about a country really really quick is uh through youtube right and YouTubers. So you want to go to YouTubers like Bald and Bankrupt, um, Drew Binsky, 
uh, a lot of these different Peter Santinello. Um, look it up. Um, great resource because these are first person point of view. Uh, this guy here, bald and bankrupt, great, great um, first person point of view, traveling the country, speaking to locals, learning about the country, learning about the culture. Uh, this 22 minute video is a great resource uh, if you want to learn on the ground what is it like in Czechia. And you have to be careful here because some of these uh, YouTubers can give a little bit of an angle and really, I mean, you have to sift through that. So one of the things that I often like to do is go to Bald and Bankrupt, go to a different, uh, couple different YouTubers. Um, and in this, this video, I put the link to this one, Bald and Bankrupt, and a couple others that you can go explore and learn about uh, Prague, learn about uh, the different parts of the Czech Republic. So that is another way. So we've got a bunch of ways so far. And the last, one of the, I guess, fun ways to learn about a country is through the game of GeoGuessr. I've been playing it for quite some time. And you go to GeoGuessr, subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. You can get some free, There's there are free games from time to time. Um, you know, but, but more importantly, if you subscribe, you get unlimited content. GeoGuessr are a great place uh, to learn about a country. And like I said, I've been playing this for about a year and a half, and this is a great resource. What I would recommend, and what we're going to do here is we're going to play a game of GeoGuessr. We're going to play uh, Czech Republic. Um, I would look at geodetective type of games, but for this, we're going to learn at just the country level. So you search up Czech Republic or Czechia, and the first official game you can play with GeoGuessr official game, or you could play uh, this game created by a player, a user of the uh, GeoGuessr community. And this one, Czech Republic, 11,000 locations from all over the country. And what is GeoGuessr? Well, we're about to show you if you're not familiar. For those that have played GeoGuessr and want to continue to play, or if you're from Czechia and want to see an American play this game, well, here we go. We're going to go right into it. And we're going to play this. Uh, we're going to do this as a challenge. We're going to do this as a three-minute time limit. So we're going to put, move this uh, up to three minutes. We're going to go to moving, panning, zooming, which means you can go move around, pan, zoom. And this is actually a game that is going to drop you in a location within the Czech Republic or Czechia. And uh, if you want to play, the play along link in the description below. And off we go to, dis to explore the Czech Republic from Google Street View. Yes, Google Street View. And here we are. We are in a on a street with snow. Uh, in the middle of Czechia. So this is always a good place to start. We're going to go down uh, and look. Where are we? Well, what are the clues that you have to find? Well, the clues could be anything for that matter. It could be road signs. It could be street signs. It could be a whole bunch of different things. So we're going to look for a road sign because that's where we are. Um, Looks like there's a sign down here. So always an interesting um, game. Maybe this is a river or something. But it's interesting how we are dropped in the middle of nowhere. So as you see, here's a lot of deciduous trees, uh, some pine trees as well. And we've got Zot. Again, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But uh, we're going to go back to the beginning and go this way. See if we can find anything going down this way. There we go. We're moving a little faster now. I think we're stuck on a Google Street View. But usually what I would do is come to a town and we've got Brumova. Lota, and I don't even know if I'm saying that the right way. I'm sure people from Czechia will let us know if uh, that's right or wrong. But from my previous experience playing this game, sometimes um, you'll look for familiar things. Like this one's got snow. We've got a nice town in Czechia. And um, we've got about a minute to go in this little town, little village. So what I'm looking for is a street sign or something. Um, and now we're off to the sunny. T 
time of the year, which So 23 seconds, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to go over here again, not sure where this is, don't have a clue. And this game, you do have to guess. This is probably a game that I would not do with, uh, oh wait, here's Lota. That's interesting. Ostrazaka Lota, but I don't think that is. Lota probably means something that I'm not sure of. We're 102 miles away. I only got 247 points in this. Uh, we were actually in the countryside. And in the region of Brumova Lota. Again, don't even know if I'm saying that right. If you're from Czechia, comment down below. Uh, we're going to get off to the next round and see where this drops us. And we are in Babish. Babiche. I don't even know if I'm saying that pr correctly. But uh, again, you're going to learn here in this game about cars. Um, the different types of cars, you see the lines, the dotted lines, um, different things like this. So Babich um, is where we are, looking northwest. So here's the compass here for those that aren't familiar with the game. And uh, the speed limit there, that's always interesting. And um, one way that you could do this is just look for Babich. You could just go like this, look around the country. Where are we located? And um, certainly a way to do it. Sometimes you might have to go in far. So that's why the zoom in it might be tough to find it. And so here's a good sign, right? This is a good sign. Prague is 28 kilometers to the north. We're on the 603. Praha, I think is Prague, right? That's my guess. And the road number here is 603. So we look for 603. And maybe we're not near. Pra no, here we are. Here's the 603. I think that's what we're on. Jesnichi. Jesnichi is here, 13 miles. So 28, there's like 15. So maybe we're here at this road here. Um, or we could be here. Let's see what other signs we have. It's a museum. We come up to an intersection. Um, so again, I'm just looking for some signs, some clues. Ten seconds, a little town, maybe I'm a little off here, but I think we're in this area somewhere. And uh, there we were, 3.3 uh, miles away. So yeah, so you can use these different clues. Um, this one we were, you know, there is Babiche. Maybe I should have looked that up. Again, um, a little rusty when I play Czechia. Yeah, I played this before, but nonetheless, it's a pretty good round. So again, you're looking at different things. You're looking, oh, what's noticeable about here? Is that wheat? You, you'll start to notice certain things. We see towns here to the northeast, east, northeast. Do we want to go this way? Maybe. Here's some clues. You look at uh, cars. You look at the homes, the hills. You'll find that a lot playing this game. So you play this several times, you'll learn a lot. That is for sure. And um, what do we have here? A sign that is blurred out. That would have helped us. Hradji. Hradji. We got a little sign here as well. And we have the 1082 maybe. 
1082. I'm not really sure about that, but that's probably the 1082. We're on a bigger road coming into a town. And there we are. So that was um, Vrabice. Vrabice. Again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right way, the right way, but what will happen, you play these games and you'll do some Dewey lingo and learn it pretty fast. Seems like speed limit is a big thing in uh, Czechia here. Big, uh, big thing. So, could I say this could be a little more difficult because there's no signs for. The road number signs. So you can look in to see. Sometimes it's just like finding a needle in a haystack. So at the hills, I'm gonna think we're gonna, I'm gonna guess a little north here. Um, maybe in this area. Again, not really sure uh, on this one. Hopefully we're close, but we're not. 99 miles away. So didn't get many points in that round. So not a good round for me on this one. Okay, so here's something of again things that little things that will help about uh, the country. Uh, 374. So we're looking for the uh, 374. And again, a lot of the learning about this is just figuring some of this stuff out. 374 is we're going to learn. Uh, there's a number system here. So you see 357, 360. And we're just looking for 374. Here's 371. Uh, 374 is right here. So then we have identified the road. We're looking for Visky, Nietzsche, looking to the northeast. So 374 could go long distance. And uh, there it is here. Here's Kniche, Uh 374, looking off to the northeast. So we're on the right side. Here's Sudich, Sudice, and Visky. So I'm going to guess that we're probably in this area here. Visky should be, there's Visky there. So we should probably be looking for a train track, right? So if we see a train track, that's, it may or may not show up. Here's one here. Um, does it seem like? No, that doesn't seem like it adds up the right way, right? So does it cross this? Yes, it crosses here. So that means I think we're in the right spot. Let's go back, use the return to start. We're a little before that. Train, river. So I'm going to guess that we're about there and go for it with 55 seconds. And we're 22 yards away, 5,000 points. So we did get a perfect round in this game. Uh, it could be a little tough here for me on this one. Uh, it's been a little rusty, so at least got 10,000. So here we are in a town. Uh, again, purpose of this game is to just explore and discover for some people that may have never played this game before. And you look at the houses, and they kind of look the same. We're in the town of Nemojani. So 
again, a little small village probably uh, in this game. And so probably not many clues to learn, but we will find hopefully here's, again, I don't know these towns or cities, but Bruno is a big city. So I know that that's a big city just from my previous uh, playing of this game and understanding of the country. If we're looking again to the Southwest and if goes off to the Southeast, meaning that we could be in this area over here. So not really sure on this one, but let's look at Tukapi, Tukapi. So look for Tukapi and let's see where the road is first. Let's, let's make sure we're in the right orientation for the country in the direction that we want to go. And it could be off to the Southwest. So we could be over here somewhere. And a town. Another sign. Lulich, Lulich. Here's Lulich right here. So we're probably here. Uh, one, one mile to the, maybe we are in this area here. Not really sure again. Um, to the northeast. So we could be here. Uh, then, oh, here we are. There's the town. There's the sign looking southwest. And um, let's see, let's line this up on the fifth and final round. Okay, there's a road there off to the southeast, which is probably that, that road there. Um, Curves to the southwest. So it should curve. Let's go there. We go there. A little off, 650 yards. Didn't get the perfect round on that one. A little off, but uh, nonetheless, I'm pretty happy with that one. What do we get? We got 14,992. So we learned a little bit about Czechia playing this GeoGuessr game. Hopefully, you beat me on this one. Um, this has been a fun game. Another game that we um, will play, uh, and we'll do that um, right now, by the way, is uh, a pinpointal, pinpointable Czechia. So, so another way to play this is a no-moving, geodetective type of game. And so I'll do no-move. We'll do a round time, again, of about three minutes, and we'll invite you to play along. The play-along link for these GeoGuessr games are in the description below just as is all the other stuff to learn and discover Czechia. But sometimes this is a good way to learn about a, about a game. Uh, this isn't Google Street View, but this is a photosphere. Um, so what are, we, what are we trying to see here? This is Praha. So we know we're in Prague. So this is Stare Mesto Manasuv Mos. So we know we're in Prague just from that sign. You'll see, you'll learn signs like this. Um, this is a good game to play to learn about just the different things that you see, the road signs, etc. So we know we're in Prague one. So Praha is Prague, and a nice, beautiful city this is, by the way. And again, the compass might not be right on this game, but nonetheless, we are in the middle of a uh, boulevard here in Prague. So we're going to go to Prague and look for Prague one, if that's even possible on this map. Here's Prague one. We're probably right in the city center. Um, and this is looking to the northwest. So this is a bridge, right? Bridge going over. So here's Manasuv Most. I'm thinking that we're probably right about here, and I'm going to go for that. We didn't get the perfect score, but nonetheless, um, again, just a good, pretty good round uh, learning about Prague. We got another sign here telling us the road, the number, the village, the town, perhaps. Um, Manakura, 
had in there cosmetics uh, salon it's a lot of here check a lip a solarium okay all right so here's a good check a lipa the 262 and the 263 so we're going to look for that the 262 and the 263 remember the 300s i think we're over here somewhere so we're going to go a little further Again, I'm not really sure if this is a lot of my first time exploring uh, this game. So we're looking for a 262 and 263, 242. And here's 262. Near the town of Horny Police. Polit I know it's not said that way, but Horny Police. Here's Sescalipa. This could be the town of Horny Police. Might not be. But, um, so let's say. Lito Mirici. The 262. So if you're going to go straight and you're going to go east, you're going to run into this town. And maybe we are in the town of Horny Police. We've been here before, folks. There's a salon prince, princess. Are we uh, here? Yes, nine Kvetna. And um, folks, I think, I think we're here. So again, horny police finding its way on this game—a perfect round and a pinpointable check. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the one nine seven, one nine eight. Again, these kind of make it easy, but. Again, look at this, taking the countryside. Sometimes I like to play these games as a no-moving, um, or no-time-limit, excuse me, game, so you can learn. Uh, look at these bollards. Look at the flowers. Look at the landscape. you learn about it. The more you play this game, I'm telling you, you'll feel like you're there. Um, in any case, let's get into this. 197. Primda. Primda. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. But nonetheless, let's do one. There's the 191. Uh, one nine seven, one nine eight. What are ya? Ooh, going a little further to the east. I mean, sorry, to the west. One nine seven, one nine eight. Here we are at this Primda. So I think Primda. Should be where we're looking. Should be to the, I guess to the north. There's Prenda. So I think. Let's see here. We are. Making sure the orientation is right a little west of this, and I think we are probably there. Um, now we're probably here. There we are. Very good. 5,000 points. Uh, again, some of these pinpointable geodetective type of games, I would recommend playing these. These are very helpful um, to learn about stuff. There's America. So always interesting. Um, a lot of people walking in the streets. You get a feel for that. There's a McDonald's. You'll find a lot of these games. A burger place. And not really sure what city this is, but let's see. Pilsen. So there we are. We're at America in Pilsen. So we were over here near Primda. Now we're coming a little further east to Pilsen. So you learn, see this game, you're learning Prague, Pilsen. In might be a little difficult, but again, you might be able to figure out this with a little longer, a um, little more time. Okay, so we're looking for, there's America, here's the McDonald's, hopefully there's there's a big burger, McDonald's, and I think we're right about here, uh, is there a roundabout, yes, it is a roundabout, a circle, and we are looking east to the McDonald's, and so we're about there, and Pilsen, another large city, so we're learning cities and countryside in this game, I do like the pinpointable of the geodetective games in the fifth and final round, we've got another sign that could be of help, maybe, So we've got Prague to the, what would this be? Going to the east, I guess, 
right? Maybe on this road. Cheb. So let's see if there's anything here. There's a bridge to the north northwest. Got some graffiti. Um, not po. That says something there. Also, the architecture is another great feature that uh, you'll look at Ostrov and Prague. Uh, looking to the east. Hopefully, this is. Um, Cheb, there's Cheb. So we see Cheb here. We're in this part of the of um, so we're probably Cheb Ostrov. Here's Ostrov. So we might be in Karlovy Vary. Is where we could be. Um. Or so Sokolov. It could be the town of Sokolov. Um, how will we find this out? I'm not really sure in this game, folks. But it's a nice town. Nice city here. Um, So I might just guess Sokolov in this one. Posta Lazenska Zona. So do we look for Lazenska Zona? I don't know. I'm not really sure. But um, there is a river here, so we could be in a place like this. But does this... And we find out the river's Ore. Ore. Not really sure. But does this river exist in Karlovy Vary? It does as well. This might be... Maybe a better. Would this be a better spot? Would be this be a better city? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go. There's probably a clue if you play this game. I'm just gonna stick with my Sokolov. I don't know why. I know it's probably Karlovy Vary, and it was Karlovy Vary. That's what happens. Lost a lot of points in that game, but nonetheless, a pretty good game. Twenty three thousand five twenty seven, and in this pinpointable Czechia or. We were in the western part of Czechia. So you might get the, the the draw might go to the east of Czechia next time to play. But playing and learning about a country, if you play GeoGuessr, I'm telling you, if you play it several times, you'll learn about everything about the country. I'd play city games, urban games, um, country, the country games. And again, just as a summary for this video about uh, the quickest way to learn, quick ways to learn, again, go to Wikipedia, go to the country Go to the country's national TV channel online and watch videos. Watch videos. Now, you're probably going to really be watching the news. That's it. But that's great. Learn about a country really fast that way. The other one I really highly recommend is going to like a Bald and Bankrupt, a Peter Santanello, um, a Walter's World, and going to their YouTube channels and looking up the country and finding out, uh, seeing them interview people from the country, their first person point of view. Great, great way to learn about the country through somebody else. I would highly recommend it. All of this stuff will be in the links in the description below. Also, Duolingo, great way to learn the language. And most importantly, you want to really do these Julia Gesser games. It's fun. You can play it. You can have your kids play it. You can play it. Your family can play it. it it's a great challenge. It forces you to recognize things in the country. And that is it. That is the game. This is a new series, Discovering Countries, and this one, Discovering Czechia. Hopefully you enjoyed this game. If you did, hit the like button. Share this with your friends. Want to get some new subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. With that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.